group of organizations is now suing the city of Toronto, saying its failure to provide physical distancing measures at some homeless shelters has put lives at risk. Joining me now to talk about this lawsuit is Emily Hill from Aboriginal Legal Services, one of the groups involved. Good to talk to you this morning. Good morning. Tell us a little bit about the conditions right now in Toronto shelters. Well, what we're hearing in shelters is that the folks who are using shelters can't follow the social distancing that the rest of us want to. So everyone in Canada is being told, keep two metres apart. And we are doing our uh, very best to ensure that people in shelters can do that, because right now they can't. I'm going to read uh, a bit of the statement from the City of Toronto saying it has been working tirelessly for solutions quoting here, noting that Toronto has the largest shelter system in Canada and the city has opened 11 new facilities and secured more than 1,200 hotel rooms. So if the city is working to rectify the issues, why file, why file the lawsuit? Well, we're glad that the city shares our goal of trying to ensure that social distancing is available for everybody in our community, not just people who have homes. But what we're seeing is that the rate that people are being moved into hotels, that work is going to have to continue until July. And that's just too late. This isn't happening fast enough. There are still people living in tents on the streets, including some set up right outside a shelter. What are your concerns if more beds are not found soon? This is a crisis, and it's a crisis that's getting worse. The, lace, the last numbers that I saw was that 213 people who use shelters uh, have tested positive for COVID, and it's now been found in 14 different shelter sites. So this is a crisis that's getting worse day by day. And people who use homeless shelters are more likely to have underlying health conditions. That means that they're more at risk for COVID-19, making them very, very sick. Emily, how is the Aboriginal community specifically affected? Aboriginal people are overrepresented in the group of people who experience homelessness uh, right across Canada and here in Toronto, the group of people who use homeless shelters. And Aboriginal Legal Services is a frontline agency. So the people that we're talking about using shelters, these are our clients and we're very worried about them. The anxiety that you and I feel when we're walking uh, in our neighbourhoods or we're in a grocery store when someone enters into our space, that's the fear and anxiety that our clients feel when they go to use a shelter. Uh, and we want to keep them safe, safe for themselves, for their families, and for the whole community. Emily Hill, we appreciate your time this morning. Thanks for joining us here at Your Morning. Thank you. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.